What is up guys, Matty Watson here wearing a turtleneck at McMahon. Am I saying that right? McMahon Stadium where the Calgary Stampeders are playing the Hamilton Tiger Cats. The only thing is I don't have a ticket. Let's see if we can get in. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's Matt! What's in comedy? A quick Google in the editing room has me realizing the Stampeders Stadium is pronounced McMahon. Which? Sounds like a meal Jeffrey Dahmer would have tried to order from McDonald's. Being we're nitpicking the intro, I'm not sure if my shirt's neckline is long enough to be considered a turtleneck. Don't know what the cutoff is exactly, but you know, it might just be a crew. Regardless of the neck though on this thrift shop shirt, it's nice to be amongst these tailgating fans pumped to see their Stampeders season opener. Look at this parking lot. That's awesome. A quick scan of gate one has me curious if I could find a way in through the stamp store. It's bustling, but a back door grabs my attention and I swing around the gate to see where it would put me. I can confirm it's being watched from the other side. I had snuck into the Blue Bombers less than 24 hours prior and made the 14 hour drive from Winnipeg, arriving here with 45 minutes to kick off, which is less than I like. However, at this point, gate two and three are not busy enough to make a move anyway. This one's tricky. Gate four catches my eye as it's got two separate entrance points. One side has an organized fence funneling fans with a couple cops overseeing the operation. Whereas just next door, they've opened two giant barn doors, placed a couple vulnerable scanners to guard a gap so massive the entire Stampeders defensive line would struggle to hold it. I make a note but continue my tour around the field, eyeing the gaps under the walls, always preferring a more obscure physical sneak in over exposing a staff member at a gate. Get under there. Gate 5 has fences helping the security on the inside of the giant doors, which looks effective, as does Gate 6. So why not have that same on the second half of Gate 4? Did they run out of fences? It's a hot day, but nobody's getting roasted like these cops on bikes. No wheelies, dude. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the cops just getting tricky. I make it back to gate one, which is now a touch busier, but the system seems sound from a security standpoint. Nice. It's a good setup, man. Gate two grabs my eye as now the scanners are all busy. There's a column at their backs, which could be used to hop on and clear the fence, or even just slide the fence a touch so I could squeeze through. But I don't like the lone fan in yellow and turn my sights on gate three. I watch a cop make his way through the line and hop in to get a feel for what I'm up against. Noticing the guys behind me are much taller and could create a screen, I invite them to move in front of me. You guys go ahead, I gotta find the old ticket. Unfortunately, the cop decided to make this gate his home, and I bail when I'm not far from the front. Cop there was me out. I consider doing another lap, but realize my time is running out and take another serious look at gate four, which suddenly has an influx of fans coming in through those giant barn doors. Due to the lack of organization at this gate, the scanners are now all busy and staggered, creating a seam. You give me a seam, I'm going to exploit it every time. Not easy. I grab my thumbnail pick, but with the Edmonton Elks home opener happening tomorrow afternoon, I hit the road well before kickoff. Have a good night, buddy. Coming back. You have a thing I can come back? Yeah, let's give this to me when you come back. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> ticket, who wants a ticket? Oh man, I'm giving this to somebody. Are you selling tickets? No, I just bought 51 tickets. Here's, here's the thing. I'm not going to the game anymore. They gave me this. Apparently this lets you go back in. So oh. I got 52. All right? Oh, you're awesome. Thank Have a good you. one. Ultimately, nobody involved in this event is missing my $40 ticket. So I turn that money into socks, granola bars, and bags of nuts and head downtown to distribute to Calgary citizens who could really benefit. All right, bags packed, ready to go. I got my blades on. Hard to beat how Canadian this handout is. How you doing, guys? I put together these little bags of nuts for you guys to give you a little snack. There's peanuts in there, but also like macadamia nuts. So we some good protein for you. And I've also got, if you want, a pair of socks with granola bars in there. No problem, guys. You too. Hey buddy, you don't need a new pair of socks or a bag of nuts that I threw together. No problem, man. Have a good one. Fresh pair of socks or a bag of nuts that I threw together. Uh, pair of socks. Though, the, bag of the bag of nuts. I know if I don't if I don't show them, it's sort of a, a bit of an innuendo. But peanuts in there, macadamias. God bless you, my friend. Here, I'll take a pair though. Done. Pair, man. Yep. Want to give her nuts too? Yep. You get to use the line then. Yeah. <laughs>
careful, don't get canceled. I don't want to scare you, buddy. I'm gonna leave you a pair of socks and a bag of nuts for you to eat. That's for you, okay? How you doing? Um, I put together some socks. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have built up the anticipation so much. But there's socks with a granola bar in there. And I threw together this mixed bag of nuts. There's macadamias in there. Oh, you're getting some too, don't you worry. For you too? Would you like the nuts as well? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it, eh? Thank you. There's praline nuts in there, and uh, there's some honey ones. There's sweet stuff. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. All right, who needs a pair of socks for the granola bar? Uh, sure. Nice. Hang on, there's some for everybody. I do have water. I'll definitely give you. I don't have a cup though to put it in. Roller skates. Nice. The roller I thought it'd be more efficient to get around. Here you go, my friend. Dude, I love your outfit. Roller skates. They're roller skates. My brother and I started playing like one on one, so I'm a terrible skater, but it sort of made me a little better. And I just thought it would be a faster way to hand stuff out to people. Hockey player? No, terrible hockey player. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> You're lucky I haven't fallen over already trying to get over here. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Like a little bit of an angry, uh, like, microphone. Um, so it plugs into my arm. It's like a bass coming out of it. You got it. Would any of you like a fresh pair of socks with a granola bar in it? Wouldn't hurt, eh? How about you, sir? Wouldn't hurt, eh? This is my last bag. There's, there's uh, peanuts in there. You got to share with this lovely, lovely individual, though. Unless I can find another one in here. I gave them all away. Do you want an extra granola bar? There you go. There you are. No problem. Have a good day, okay? You did what? A new pair of socks for the granola bar? <laughs> Just for you. Good. You have a good day, okay? That's a good You're welcome. Would you like a fresh pair of socks with a granola bar in it? There you are. Can we throw in your bag? Sure. You're welcome. I've also got a Stampeder's uh, jumper. It could keep you warm if you'd like. There you are. I hope your luck improves. You want a pair of socks, buddy, with a granola bar in it? Here, I got one for each if you want. Would you like one too? Here, we'll put, we'll put that in there too. I got one granola bar left. You want it? You're okay? You want another one for the road? You take care, okay? 